Good, <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Uh, sorry, I've lost my voice today, so it'll be a quiet 52 tags today. Um, this is uh, number 21, uh, Anne Brooks, um, 52 tags. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be a bit of a silent movie today. Next stage of my cold is obviously that Susan can't speak. So 52 tags handmade, organised by the lovely Anne Brook. So this is going to be an interesting video, isn't it? I hope you can hear me. Right. Um, yeah, we've been asked to do uh, bully on stitch edge. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just making sure I've got the date right on there. Yeah, 23rd. Um, I've resorted to ice cream boxes now for my tags, but they should be a bit thinner, hopefully. Right. So that's that done. So I, I, if I don't do it now, I forget. Right, so that's my tag. So for the base fabric, I'm gonna come a bit closer to the camera. Um, for the base fabric, I've got a piece of my um, uh, rust dyed fabric. <clears throat> and again, I've cut it, because I've got the dye, I've cut it to the same size as the um, cardboard. Um, now I've got this selvage. <clears throat> um, it's got very fluffy edges. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be okay actually. It's quite wide. But I figure if I, if I put it there and then I've got this um, quite dainty lace here. Which has got some weird sticky out bits on it. Um, I know Anne stitched hers, hers down, but hers was folded, wasn't it? But anyway, um, sorry, I digress there. So I'm thinking once I've done all the bullion stitch on the edge here. Am I even in screen? I don't even know. No, I'm not. Hold on. Let me bring it down a bit. I forgot I angled the camera just right. So, um, yeah, so bullion stitch on there. And then I'll use this to anchor that to the uh, rust dyed at the back there. And then I've got this... Um, Cotton per DMC cotton perlay um, number eight, and it's colour seven eight three. Let me see what you can see. Here we are. All right, and it is kind of a rusty colour, so I thought that would really show up well on there for the bullion, and then maybe I'll do some French knots down the middle of the little daisies, just to hold it all on. I've got no idea. Let's see where it goes, shall we? Um, I have got my Bowen. Um, straw milliners <coughs> um, and recommended these because the eyes are the same size well she recommends milliners um, because the um, eyes are the same size as the shaft of <coughs> shaft of the needle All right, and they're quite long as well actually that's a good couple of inches long so we'll use one of these <coughs> sorry I probably shouldn't have filmed but if I don't do it now, it won't happen. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I'm just going to sew away here. So I'm just going to start, I think, mainly with the, the bullion stitch. Oh, let's get a length of... Let's see how long we want this. I don't want it going up too high. And the nice thing is, this has got a nice finished edge on this side as well. So I might, I see how the time goes. I might even do some bullion stitching on there, but... We shall see. Checking out. Ooh, that's got some nice texture on that side. Quick change, sorry. It's got some really nice... It was a beautiful fabric, this, but it was very expensive. I think I've got about a square that big left now. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that bit. So I hope everybody's doing well. It's another miserable rainy day. It cleared up yesterday afternoon. I was able to get some of the grass cut, but um, it's, uh, it's Sunday here today. And I was thinking, oh, it'd be lovely to go to the car boot today. Nah. He started to chuck it down again. So, yeah, I'm going to use that bit. It's got some really nice texture on there. 
I mean, that's not unattractive, but <coughs> I figure, yeah, that'll look really nice. Yep, yeah, right, okay. Right, so uh, let's concentrate on this first of all. <clears throat> I haven't got any, well, I have got fancy threads, but I really want to, I, I just really want something that will contrast well with that. And I'm hoping this is going to be it, actually. So uh, bear with me. Yeah, sorry, I can't get my voice any louder. My daughter rung and she went, oh, I'm not even going to ask how you are. I said, I can't talk this morning. I said, there's the next level. Oh, joy. <coughs> I'll be back in a second. I just need to go and blow my nose. Hey, sorry about that. Okay, let's get these bullion stitches done. Now, quite conveniently, I don't know if you can see, um, there's like perforation marks along this selvage so they're going to help me with spacing hopefully we shall see <clears throat> right um gosh i've forgotten how to do it um Okay, brain is not working now. Um, God, blimey, I can't remember. How would I need to do it? Because normally you come up like that, wouldn't you? How did you do it, Aaron? Can't remember. Like that? Maybe. Let's give it a go. <coughs> I'm just going to get the needle almost to the end. It's going to have to be quite long, I think, to go over this one. It could be very thrilling for you guys to watch, but... I'm not convinced I'm doing this right, but we'll see. Um, that should be long enough, actually. If not, we'll start again. <laughs> right, just pull through. No, you were supposed to behave and stay down there. Oh yeah, that's all right. Whew. Okay, it needs to be a little bit longer. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's definitely not long enough, so I'm just going to take that one out. I wasn't quite sure how long to do it, I'll be honest with you, so let's start again. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I think if I go right to the end of this needle that should be about right but at least that was right <laughs> how did I do it now come over And then bend the needle back. We'll get there in a second. Hold on, hold on. Fingers and thumbs. Let's get rid of that long tail, right? I hope the lighting's okay. I've come right by the window now, so um, hopefully you can see <clears throat> well enough without the light on. I don't really like stitching by artificial light. It hurts my eyes. Can we go a little bit longer? Bit 
about a centimeter from the end and we just measure that roughly yeah okay about a centimeter from the end is that long enough it might be let's have a look I might want to get a pair of pliers. There we go. So you can't really show this one because you're trying to hold on to all the wraps whilst you're pulling the thread through. Not want to behave. <coughs> Still not quite long enough. No, nope. yeah, it's just it's just beyond the edge there. All right, okay. So I'm going to use these dots in the in the selvage there. I think for lining up. Right, so over the top, through, but not all the way, and then wrap. Ow. Here comes the vein. I'm only going to get about two wraps out of each length here. <coughs> well, Joanne found that because she'd bought or well, she'd been gifted a, a pre cut thread. So. so very slightly longer. Come on, come on. You don't want to play, do you? Come on. Well, one thing is we're getting good contrast, so that's all good. Yeah, that's a much better length. That was closer to the top of the needle there, so. Just get rid of that one at the back. Yeah, definitely needs to be that longer one, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to carry on right way down. I'm going to use these spots here, I think it's a good idea. And then I'll come back when I start doing the lace, because um, it'll be a bit boring otherwise. Okay, back in a few ticks for you. Right, oh yeah. <clears throat> right, I'm just on the last one. <sighs> I just re-watched Anne's video <clears throat> I realised I've done this wrong, but never mind. It's got the same effect and that's all that matters. She was carrying hers round the back and I was, I've was i not been doing that, so I don't know what difference that actually makes, but it's not the same. I resulted to pliers in the end. <clears throat> I 
it resulted, resorted. This is really being awkward, this thread, for some reason. I don't know why. It sorts itself out in the end, though, thankfully. Hmm. Right, so that's the last of the bullion stitch. Okay. Yeah, it's different. So I think this was a very good buy this lace <coughs> it's got um quite a few tatty bits on it i can't remember where i got it from actually probably china i could do with something here couldn't it well i can just did i could move that right over there actually you chop that off. My good scissors are downstairs, it's typical, isn't it? I've been doing a lot of hand stitching at night. Yeah, it could do with something. <clears throat> I don't know about white, maybe a beigey creamy colour. Let me get that stuff Fiona sent me. Hang on. Might be a bit chunky for this. Straighten yourselves out, come on. Um, yeah, I don't think I like that either. Oh, big bits in there. Just grab my box of lace down, sorry. something a little bit <coughs> so I'm thinking cream would look better but I don't know sorry I'll be with you in a second so I've got these coloured ones that yellow one might be quite nice. Very, very tiny. <clears throat> oh, it's very dainty. Yeah, I think that'd be quite nice there, won't it? I still feel like it needs something under there, though. <clears throat> Mm. 
might do is get some um, distress ink and just uh, damp that down a bit. So it's a bit white. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Just drop me a bell there. I've got to sort those out in a minute. <coughs> Sun's gone again. Let's have that there. That there. Maybe that there. What do you reckon? I think that's okay actually. Oh, excuse me, I just need to blow my nose. <coughs> right, we're going for it, otherwise, we'll be here for like 10 years trying to make a decision. <coughs> now, do I go in with the same colour? Yeah. <coughs> I might just do a very simple running stitch actually. <clears throat> this one. What to do? Let's have a look. I go in and out of every other hole. Let's see what that looks like. Sorry for not much talking guys, I just can't. It hurts. <laughs> I think that's enough, yeah. Now if I put this one under here, I'm trying to decide, <clears throat> trying to decide whether to put any, um, just to dull that down a bit, but I don't know if I will actually, the white lace. I think it kind of picks that up quite well. I'm trying to decide if I want to do something here as well. 
Maybe just some big cross stitches coming across. Just seems a bit lost on its own over here. You said to do your own thing, so here we are. I keep forgetting the golden rule to cross stitch, have all your underneath bits going the same way. They're not going to be even. I kind of don't want them to be actually. I know that's an even number, but we'll have to live with it. If I can, you can. What to do with this white bit? Come on, let's have a look. <coughs> It's kind of tempting to just leave it like that, isn't it? Let me see what you can see. Yeah. It's totally different when you look through the camera. <laughs> but that really just kind of gives it a bit of oomph, doesn't it? If I had some coffee dyed, I'd have put that on there, but I haven't. And I don't think this is quite it just kind of merges, doesn't it? <clears throat> My pink's not right. Just looking through your little pack you sent me, Fiona, if you're watching. No, too, too big. Okay. Right, I'll just make do with the white. Stop being a fuss pop. Right. Not scrap going on here. Okay. Right, you are safe for another time. Um, I might just do a simple run in stitch under there actually, just to hold that down. could do something quite elaborate here but 
this very thin cotton on the back so I don't think it'll hold up to the stitching there'll be quite a lot of it so yeah maybe I'll just do a very simple run-in stitch so a piece of this scrap might do actually it's not terribly long yeah I should do I think we'll make that do for this week I don't know what she's got planned for us next week. We've got to keep our uh, laces out, so that'll be interesting. I'm really sorry. I do hope you can hear me. If you can't, I do apologise. This cold is getting very old now. I've had enough. mind that you can see it a little bit Let's try and get some sort of straight shoe season yeah that'd be novel for you wouldn't it oh goodness me let me get a pin because it's going to go right wonky otherwise and we don't want a wonky donkey not today You can hear that rain. <laughs> Cleared up beautifully yesterday afternoon. As I say, I was able to get out and I couldn't actually cut the grass with a lawnmower because it was too wet, but uh, I was able to trim the worst bits. So um, I've got one end of the garden that grows really tall, and um, I don't know why the grass grows really tall. Probably a different grass, I suppose, but um, <clears throat> yeah, it was starting to get a bit like a meadow. <laughs> so I thought best best go out there and tidy it up a little bit while the sun's shining. So I did. It was nice to be out actually, a bit of fresh air. I think that's the one thing that's been weird about working from home so much. I'm not. You know, we've not been able to, we've not been allowed to go out much, have we? So, Whereas I used to ride my bike to work and everything. <coughs> right. Yeah, it's okay. I'd have preferred that if it was coffee dyed, I think. Just a little, just to take off the white. Yes, I could have gone over it with ink, but... Um, it can make it a bit sticky sometimes and I didn't really want this to start getting sticky so let's just take that off there <clears throat> no, that's okay yeah let me give you a close-up and I'll stitch it on yeah so there's the bullion on this edge there cat hair of course and some little laces and just did some stitch there yeah it's okay right let me get my cropper dial there with me <coughs> i've got some ordinary thread here somewhere there we go. stitch it on Right. Ooh. OK. 
Okay. Hopefully this cardboard will be easier to go through than the last lot was. I'm going to catch it right in the middle of the flower, I think. Okay. Might need a bigger lot. <laughs> Stay still. Slippery, slippery print underneath. I should be quite sad when this is all done. I really enjoyed these weekly ones. But no, no, and she's so lovely. She'll probably have some more for us coming up. Um, I need a pen. <clears throat> right, so that was week 21, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Week 21. Mm. Stitch. Edge. There's the old hooty do. Legs um, made. Okay, <clears throat> let's put a eyelet in. I've got some nice copper ones, I think. Well, that look quite nice with this thread. Or should it be gold? Mm -hmm. Yeah, copper. We're going for it. That'll do. It'll be fine. <coughs> oh, there we are. Right. Let's give you a complete last minute up look. Look up, up look. Up close. Yeah. Um definitely need to keep practicing those i'm not i'm pretty sure i didn't do them right um yeah i don't know what i've done wrong i'll have to re-watch anne's video but i've still got the same effect so it's fine okay all right i'll see you on the next one hopefully i'll be able to speak <laughs> bye